Today has been so much fun. We had everybody out here today helping to build the fish habitats for the lake. So what we're doing today here at Queen Creek is we are building some amazing fish habitat. We're building all kinds of varieties of habitat. We've done some moss back safe haven kits, which look like Christmas trees, more like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but little Christmas trees. We've done Georgia cubes, which is essentially a PVC cube with some hose running in between it. And then we've also got these be beautiful PVC pipes you can see in the background back there. That's gonna be amazing catfish spawning habitat. So those are big pipes. The catfish go in there like their little caves and they'll spawn in there. They'll hang out in there. So amazingly good habitat out here. As part of the community fishing program we're going to be stocking this lake every two weeks from middle of September to about the middle of June. In the winter months when it's cool between November and March we'll put rainbow trout in here. In the warmer months and in, in the fall and in the spring we'll do some channel catfish in here. We're talking keeper size fish so the rainbow trout are going to be about foot long give or take and the channel catfish are going to be about uh, 14 to 18 inches, pound and a half to two pounds. So big enough to definitely keep put up a nice fight. Once a year we'll also stock some bluegill in the lake to keep that population going and kids are really great about catching bluegill. We want to bring a quality fishing opportunity to people right in their neighborhoods, right where they live. Not everybody can afford to go or has the time to go to the big lakes, to the White Mountains, out to the Colorado River, out to Lake Pleasant. So we want to bring the fish to the people right here in the neighborhood. So we partner with cities like the town of Queen Creek in building this lake, which the park is obviously going to be managed and maintained by the, the, the town of Queen Creek. We partnered with them that we'll provide the fish in there. All right, now that the fish habitats are down there, the next few steps are that they have to put in the aeration system. So that's what adds the oxygen to the water so the fish live better and all the stuff that the fish eat and need to live grow. And then also the circulation system is going to be um, finalized in the lake and that's what keeps the water circulating throughout the lake so it doesn't get stagnant, keeps it healthy. Everything we're doing is for good water quality and so that we have a good fishing habitat out there. Um, the lake, we should be filling it around the end of April.